Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you um, a tutorial on how to do a press and release button. So basically like a trigger. Once you press down, it's uh, whatever you want to do that uh, has a start and a stop thing starts and when you let go it stops. So as you can see here I have an animation that when I press down it stops and when I let go it's uh, or when I press down it starts and when I let go it stops. This is good for maybe you want to make a gun app or something and when you press the trigger down it um it starts shooting and then when you let go it stops or maybe like a piano once you press the piano key down it makes a sound of well a piano key and then when you let go it stops so let's get right into it okay the first step of doing this is creating a new project or if you want to add this to a new project you don't have to do it but if you do I'm suggesting you do a view based application and I'm just gonna name mine press Okay, um, it was in my second monitor, so I have to bring it over. Okay, well, the first thing you can do is expand your classes folder and go into your .h view controller, .h, obviously. And after the interface brackets, you can hit enter a few times and do dash, parenthesis, IB action, uh, start, uh, semicolon, enter, da dash, another IB action and then stop okay uh, you can hit command s to save that and then right here we're going to hit enter a few times and then create our own brackets so dash parenthesis IB action again and then do start or the same thing you named it and then curly bracket hit enter a few times and then hit another curly bracket now in here is what we want our code to be. So for example, when we hit the start button, or when we press the button down, this is what it'll do. When we let go, it'll stop. So for this tutorial, I'm just doing an animation. So like a GIF image type thing, you can put sound in here or basically anything that has a start and a stop button or play and stop, play and pause, whatever. Uh, so we need another IB action for our um, stop. And so stop or whatever you named it. Okay, so um, in my last video, I'll, I guess I'll put an annotation right here. I told you how to make a an animation, sort of like a GIF. So I'm gonna I'm gonna annotate this screen right now. You can click it to see it. But to make this video a little bit shorter, I'm just going to um, write this code out quickly. But you're not going to see it because I'm about to stop it. So click click screen now if you want to see how to do this code. Okay, so now that I've added this code in, um, we can go into Interface Builder. But again, if you want to um, see how I did this code right here, um, then please click the screen now, the annotation. And another thing we have to add is in, in the stop, you have to have do... Um, uh, square bracket color stop uh, with capital A animating on uh, another square bracket semicolon I'm not sure if I said that in the, tu in the tutorial but if I didn't there it is um, so open up your nib files and do your view controller.sib alright so once that's um, loaded up you will have your interface builder so the first thing you're going to do is Drag in an image view for the picture. And if you want it to, as soon as you start up the app, it um, you can see it, but it's not animating. Then go right here, go to the first tab, and under image, pick the image you want. Um, I do want it to be there as soon as I load up the app. And you can hit command equals to make it the original size, but that's mine's a little bit too big. So I'll put I'll square it down a little bit. And um okay, so we need uh one button, only one button. We'll put it right there and I'll say press. Or just yeah, whatever, press. Go to your files owner in your connections tab, go to color and connect it to your image, and then do start, and then right here. Uh, you want to connect start to your button, but here's something different. You need to do start touch down. What touch down does is as soon as you hit the button with your finger, it starts. 
and then stop, do touch up inside. So touch up once you um once you let go, it'll stop. So understand how this works when you hit st you hit starts as soon as you touch down and then it stops as soon as you let go of the button. Let me zoom out here. Hit command S. And I think I have everything done. So we can hit command Q and make sure it's simulator or you can test the device if you need to and then build and run okay so as you can see the image loads up and when I when I hold down it starts and when I let go it stops so um, this this is gonna be perfect for if you're making maybe a gun app and you wanna have it automatic so when you fire the muzzle flare goes and the sound of, of it goes or maybe a piano, a piano key you can do this for. Or just anything you need to do it. It's sort of like a trigger. That's basically what this is. Um, so it w really works with anything. Anything that you can use a start and a stop key for. So again, what you want, um, what you want to start is in here. And then whatever you need to do, stop it. So, thanks for watching. If you want the source code, please subscribe and then PM me with your email and I will send it to you. Um, thanks for watching and subscribe, please.